But a quick comment uh, from you in a few minutes uh, on a uh, development elsewhere, because as President Obama's stimulus package moves now from the House of Representatives to the Senate in Washington, there's a cross-party move underway to slash the taxes paid by big business on profits repatriated to the US, that's by companies with overseas operations. If it goes ahead, the implications for Ireland, with its heavy reliance on foreign investment, could be serious. Neil O'Dowd, publisher of the Irish Voice newspaper, has been telling me more. It could well be, Sean. It's, it's too early to say, but there is a measure uh, being proposed by Senator Barbara Boxer and Senator Ensign of Nevada, which would prompt companies to repatriate hundreds of billions of dollars, um, money that they say could be used to expand domestic operations and save jobs. And supporters say that it would increase federal tax revenue by as much as $40 billion. What the, what the proposal would do would dramatically reduce taxes from 35% to 5.25% on corporate profits earned abroad and brought back to the United States. So obviously that could possibly have implications for Ireland if it, if it passed. These are the kind of profits which uh, companies pay tax here at, in this country, at something like 12.5%, and then they don't have to pay any more when they repatriate them. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, so, so what there's, we're talking about here is, is a massive sort of part of this uh, tax stimulus bill which would reduce these taxes in America from 35 to 5 and a quarter so it would certainly have implications for Ireland and for any country where American corporations are. I, I stress that this is just a proposal and uh, obviously it's not true and, and the two senators are obviously uh, grandstanding to an extent because everyone is trying to get provisions that would reduce taxes on business uh, but it remains to be seen what happens to it. Obviously, it's something that is going to concentrate the minds of Irish diplomats and um, IDA people as well uh, over there. But uh, tell me a little bit more, uh, Neil, about uh, Barbara Boxer. She's a Democrat, uh, Senator from California, John Ensign, Republican of Nevada. Yes, uh, Barbara Boxer uh, has been in the shadow of Senator Dianne Feinstein. Uh, she's the more powerful of the two California senators, but she's still a, a major player. John Ensign will be one of the, the new rank of Republicans, uh, quite prominent in the Senate. Uh, you know, this would be a pretty serious proposal coming from these two. And it's part of, of the overall sense that in the Senate there is, there is more cooperation between the parties than there is in the House. Uh, yesterday the stimulus package went through the House without any Republican support. But in the Senate they're trying to join together and put forward several, several proposals such as this, which would, would give a bipartisan shine to, to, to the whole operation if it went through the Senate as well. Is it something on which you think uh, President Obama might look favourably, given that in his own campaign, certainly uh, in the early stages, uh, in the primary stages, he was talking about something along these lines, was he not? Yes, he was, very much so. And at the time, it was looked on more as a sort of protectionist measure, particularly when he was um, talking about jobs going abroad in states like Ohio on that. Uh, this seems to be a slightly different development, but it's certainly something that if you put forward a proposal like this that would increase federal tax revenues here by as much as $40 billion, people are obviously going to look at it at a time when tax revenues here as well as everywhere else in the world, I guess, are falling very dramatically. So I, I would think it's quite a serious proposal going forward at this point. And that was Neil O'Dowd on the line there earlier from New York. George, what do you think? Well, it would be the cat among the pigeons in terms of our own economic strategy, uh, which is based on low corporate taxes. Um, we'd have to work extremely difficult, extremely hard to make ourselves and continue to make ourselves attractive as a location for these people to pay their taxes. Now, Ireland still is very attractive for multinational companies with a 12.5% corporation tax rate. But if those kind of pull of factors are there uh, to bring some of that tax base back home, it means and really underlines the need for us to get our other costs in line, to remain attractive in other ways to make sure that the competitiveness of the economy in terms of all of those non-tax um, non costs is improved. For example, the Central Bank highlight today that services in Ireland, the service costs in Ireland are typically about 35% higher than the European average. Those kind of things are absolutely ridiculous in terms of relativities if, you, if, if the tax thing isn't enough to keep these companies here. So it really does highlight uh, the fact that we can't stand still. And also the fact that the world around us changes and we need to react to it. It might well be conceivable that we'd have to um, uh, redress and relook at how attractive we can make Ireland uh, in terms of the tax advantage for these companies. Can we improve it in any way? But that will certainly put the cat among the pigeons. But I think people have known that this kind of stuff is in the offing uh, and it makes um, policymakers nervous, nervous here. But fundamentally it underlines the need to get everything else right. An economy can't go on one wing or anything remotely like that. We need to get the other things in the Irish economy right. We need to rely on Irish-owned companies and indigenous companies 
continues to grow because you can never rely on international uh, uh, multinational companies because you don't know what's going to happen in the globe. We can only control what's happening here and that's why we have to get it right. George, thanks for that brief comment on Neil O'Dowd. More